part of the BP staff. My name is Nicola Ilisko and I'm the head chef here at Under. Today I'm going to make one of our signature dishes and it's a dish that came to life during COVID. It's a, we call it the bird's flatbread, looking like uh, the skin of a bird's tree. So the way we make it, the flatbread here, the, t the top one, we have a standard traditional Norwegian flatbread with flour and then we make a white potato puree that we are brushing on. And then to make this, the line as a bird's tree, the black lines, we have this pencil. And it's the squid ink that we are drawing on. And then many trees, they have like moss growing on them. And here we are making the moss of of a ramson that is fermented, like wild garlic that's fermented. Then when we have it like this, we're gonna put it in the oven, bake it a couple of minutes, uh, actually 20 minutes, <laughs> uh, and then we cut it with a scissor. Then we cook it in a traditional Norwegian uh, pan, like a flat pan. That's why it's called flat bread, also and also because it's so flat. So that we cook it on this pan, and then after that we we curl them the way we want, and then we bake them in the oven at 160 until they are crispy and nice. Then for the bottom part, if you see it here, the bottom part is looking a bit different because the bottom part we are having another glaze. So for the bottom part we have a glaze that's made out of oysters garum and then some pickled spruce liquid so it's like the brine from when we are pickling the spruce we take that brine mix it together with garum and then we spread it on the flatbread and then we also put this in the oven to dry and then do the same as the other one put it on the the big pan to cook it and then curl it up the way we want it and into the oven and bake it done so inside the flatbread we have a mixture of the langoustine claws and this claws that we are cooking in uh, seawater, water from the ocean with some seaweed. Then we have some chopped fenalaw meat. Fenalaw will come back to after. And then here we have some pickled preserves and it's like um, the nice shoots from, uh, from the pine trees, birds leaves. And then a little bit of ramson also, wild garlic. And then we to make it nice and creamy, we put some potato puree also. And then we have this nice mixture here. Fenalo, if you can just go back to the fenalo, it's a fenalo is a traditional Norwegian thing where you have the le the back leg of the lamb, then you put it in salt, and then you cure it for many months. Um, some is smoking them, some is not smoking them. Some is like a like a ham, um, and f these. The uh, final lot that we are having here is from lamb I bought two years ago because I like them to cure for minimum two years. And it's a wild range lamb where the lamb is living in the place where they are living. It's just like around 30 minutes from here, close to my town where I live. And there they are running around in the hills and eating whatever they find. They are getting born by themselves in nature and the farmer is just going and checking on them how they are. Uh, but life goes the way it goes there. They are not getting much help and they eat whatever they find in nature until the day that uh, we invite them to the slaughterhouse. So for sampling the flatbread, we have the nice mixture here. This mixture we keep in service at 50 degrees, so it's nice and lukewarm when the guest gets it.
then we plate it in its own element, moss. And the idea of this dish actually came to life in uh, COVID. And the day that we closed down, we, we got the message from the government on a Friday at 12 o'clock that on Monday you will have to close everything. No, we will close down. So I gathered all the staff. We had a meeting. I made actually a vote. I asked them, are you feeling secure to work? And the majority said no, so we closed down the restaurant. Then we started to call all the su suppliers to cancel the orders. We called, of course, all the guests to say that we are sorry, but we have this situation, as you might know of, of course, that we have to cancel your reservation. But luckily for me, we had a lot of langoustine still in the fridge, and we have some phenol and another, a lot of other good uh, ingredients. So we split all the ingredients to the team, so they could have a little bit of nice meals on the weekend. And then what I took into the forest actually was uh, some lang langoustine and actually it was the tail though but um, we use a claws here instead but langoustine and then phenolor and then I took some of the fat from the phenolor melted it in the barbecue and I cooked some of the the langoustine tail on the barbecue and then I took the fat from the phenolor brushed it on the tail and ate it in a lompe. Lompe is a soft potato flatbread this is a crispy one but the flavor was just so amazing. So I thought like, okay, when we're gonna open up again, I want to have this in some kind of way on the menu. So we tried many things with Lombe that never worked. And we ended up with a beautiful flatbread instead because we want to have this connection to the wood so that the dish will make much more sense. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.